Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to DEF CAM 2021. This is the 11th edition, and we're really happy to have you. Although we're in a hybrid format, then in an online format, I wish it were hybrid. I guess my subconscious got the best of me. My name is Andra Zaharia, and I'll be your host for the next two days here on track one. We're very excited to be back to bring back together the Def Cam community, even if it's uh, in a virtual format. There are so many networking opportunities and there's so much energy and excitement that's pooling into this event that I hope you'll have an excellent two days ahead. So what I'm going to do now is give you a quick intro into what's going to happen over the next two days. As you know, Def Camp is driven by the power of community, and that means teamwork and passion, dedication and commitment, uh, and top it all off with focus, all for cybersecurity. So everyone did their very best to bring to you their best work, their kind of, you know, uh, most excited expression of, of their work and passion for cybersecurity. So here's what you can expect today and tomorrow. So there are two briefing stages with really interesting uh, technical presentations and presentations on other topics as well. So there's track one and track two, and I encourage you to explore them as much as you can. Each day before um, the lunch break, we will have some panel discussions with industry experts on both tracks. There are some very interesting topics there that I hope you'll have a chance to explore. This is you know, an opportunity to share what we've all learned in the past two years and kind of, you know, be able to air out everything that we've been working on and then thinking of um, throughout all of these changes. So obviously, as you know, the road to becoming a cybersecurity expert is paved not only with constant learning, but also with a lot, a lot of practice. So that means that we've created a special virtual hacking village for you this year. There are 12 competitions, which are incredibly exciting and very challenging. Um, and I hope you have a chance to try them. There are the traditional type of competitions like the IoT Village powered by Siemens, as well as many other new ones. So I hope you'll have a chance to explore them, to try your hand at them and see how they play into kind of your, uh, you know, what you need right now and where you're at in your journey towards um, bigger and better things. Obviously, we really want to, you know, take this chance to reconnect, reconnect in a meaningful way, have a chance to meet both new and old friends and also get in touch with the speakers. So, um, you know, we know that the past year and a half has been quite overwhelming for many of us. And we're here to remember the good old days and create some new memories as well, and then spend some quality time together. So I hope that you're able to, you know, um, give these presentations and this opportunity your, your attention and your uh, energy as well. If you are tweeting or posting during the event, we'd love to kind of, um, you know, follow what you take from the event, get your feedback and improve in as many ways as we can. So if you can use the hashtag DEFCAM 2021, we'd be really thankful for that so we can keep track of what everyone is doing and learning from this conference uh, today and tomorrow as well. So, we also have a wonderful lineup of speakers and presentations. Uh, we have a bunch of really interesting topics for you today, from new detection techniques to disruptive ops to uh, phishing detection, um, penetration testing management, and a lot of other things such as automatic exploitation, um, and a presentation dedicated to solar winds and what happened there, and a bunch of other interesting types of research that uh, will hopefully expand your views and kind of enrich your experience as well. Maybe they'll give you a new rabbit hole to go down on uh, over the next few days. Uh, obviously, we're very thankful to have a wonderful lineup of speakers 
So you can also get in touch with them. You can send them a message on the platform. You can connect with them, uh, ask them questions. They're always very friendly. And even though you can't, you know, <laughs> approach them in a coffee break, as we used to do uh, in 2019, that doesn't mean that they're not open to new conversations. So don't be shy. Obviously, Def Camp is a community event, and that means that we have long-term partners that have been with the event for so many years and that have been consistent in their support and in their investment in the community. Uh, so we have to thank Orange Business Services, who is the main part of, uh, partner of the event and has been for many years. Uh, we'd also like to thank Kisai Technologies, uh, CJK, Garrett Advancing Motion, SecureWorks, BitSentinel, PentestTools.com, and Siemens, and all other contributors for helping us bring Def Camp 2021 to you. This is a new experience for, new, for, for all of us. We hope you enjoy everything that happens over the next two days. Um, and I would like to take this chance and introduce to you Christian Patsakia, Development and Innovation Manager at Orange Romania, to help set the mood for what will hopefully be an excellent two days. Christian, please join me on stage. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, Andra. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. So it's a, it's a big day today uh, with, uh, with the, this uh, event, uh, still uh, online. Uh, the virtual stage the virtual stages of Def Camp, uh, powered by Orange Business Services, are now open, and um, I will uh, I will also share some uh, some points with you. Just confirm me, Andra, please, that you can see my uh, my slide. Yep. Just to set there the framework. Is. You mentioned about uh, connect and reconnect. Yes, I remember 2019, the last physical uh, shape of the event, uh, and uh, the focus was on connect and inspire. And I, uh, I still, I, I kept the, the, the statement. It's just that now we reconnect and we uh, inspire. <clears throat> so, uh, as as uh, um, during the past, uh, the first years of Def Camp uh, between 2011 and 2014, the number of participants were around uh, plus 1,400. And um, Orange, uh, Orange Business Services uh, joined the, the event as a main partner uh, in 2015. And since then, uh, we saw an uh, increase in the number of participants, as you can see in the, in the figures year by year. And uh, Def Camp built in time a global community. We all know this and we appreciate welcoming people from um, every culture who seek a deeper understanding of the information security field, the mysteries behind, and also who seek other people with similar skill set. And uh, I also uh, used a nice picture from uh, 2019. We know uh, what happened then. Uh, so the number were uh, incredibly high, incredibly high. So it was more than 2,000 people. Uh, with uh, in the bracket, you see the let's say the, the invited from uh, from Orange side, which are uh, Orange Romania employees, Orange Money employees, uh, Orange Services employees, because these are the companies in Romania. Uh, but uh, this year, uh, it's a special year. We are also welcoming. Uh, together with our uh, Orange Business Services partners and customers. We are also welcoming our new colleagues from uh, Telecom Romania Communications. So we do hope that maybe next year to see uh, this, this kind of pictures. And uh, for sure that this year, an interesting event will, uh, an interesting um, uh, part of the event will happen in the Hacking Village uh, with the 12 challenges that, uh, that you mentioned. And I will, um, I will also uh, uh, mention one which is uh, special for us, for Orange Romania. It's the Deceptive Ops, which is uh, supported jointly with uh, one of the uh, Orange Fab Accelerator startup, the Kenas. And uh, here we will have in uh, one hour, uh, more than one hour, uh, some insights uh, coming from uh, from the Kenas founder. Uh, then, uh, as part of the, the content uh, we are bringing, uh, this is the, the, the challenge that uh, I, I, I mentioned, the one which is powered by uh, Orange Business Services and the KNS, Deceptive Ops, and the insight that uh, I will bring uh, together with uh, Andre Bozano, the CEO and founder of uh, the Kenyas, the, the insights uh, behind the, the HoneyNet solution that he uh, developed. And uh, also, uh, I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak about the the challenge itself, which started a couple of days uh, ago, and uh, you still have time to uh, 
to participate to the challenge and to manage to win uh, the, the, the prize which are in the, in the game. Going further, uh, another interesting uh, insight coming from, uh, from us uh, will be uh, tomorrow in track two, starting with 10 o'clock, uh, where uh, Ivan Konstantin, our uh, cybersecurity expert, will um, tell you more about the training on the security, se uh, security operation side, how you can build a SOC, how you can train your people behind that, and how you can do this in a, a nice gamification way. And here, Definitely that we will refer to Cyber Edu, uh, the new kit on the block, uh, and um, to Unbreakable Romania competition with the season that we had, and we do hope to uh, to have uh, more uh, in front of us. But also, uh, Iwan will uh, will mention the relations that we create with the university, the Technical University from Romania, so the main centre in uh, in Romania, uh, as part of our uh, Orange Educational uh, Program. <clears throat> then, uh, uh, also tomorrow, uh, in track one, uh, we will start, we have a nice uh, panel uh, moderated by uh, Monica Bojano, a startup programs manager from uh, Orange, in which you will uh, have the opportunity to uh, discover uh, different insights about uh, how to build a uh, cybersecurity uh, startup. This insight coming from uh, from the people behind uh, the most uh, interesting uh, solutions and platform uh, from the cybersecurity arena. And here <clears throat> you have uh, Adrian Fortuna, CEO of Pentest Tool, Florina Dmitrakie, CEO of CyberEdu platform, Christian Rutzer, the officer of uh, SciScale, Andrei Bozanu, again, uh, the founder of the Kenyas, and uh, uh, Ioan Constantin, the cybersecurity expert. And here I also have the um, the opportunity to uh, invite you to uh, navigate on orangefab.ro, uh, our uh, Orange Fab Accelerator page, and uh, why not to <clears throat> apply to the program, try to see uh, what we have there for you, and maybe you can find um, enough reasons to um, think about launching your own uh, startup on uh, technology, and for sure maybe on cybersecurity, and uh, you will discover interesting resources there too. Uh, we also have a, a virtual booth in which we will invite you to, to, to see and to, uh, to check the, the layout. Uh, on, the, on the booth, you'll have the opportunity to, uh, to download. It's a virtual booth. You'll have the opportunity to download our uh, last uh, um, business internet security report, uh, the fourth, fourth edition, uh, with uh, interesting insights but also to prepare for a 5G-driven society and check our uh, 5G lab and the 5G use cases that we are uh, we are included in the, in the virtual booth. And uh, in the report, uh, you will have the opportunity to see the main insight, the main highlight for 2000, uh, 2021, uh, but also some predictions for 2022. And uh, some of them are also coming from our... Um, uh, thread map uh, uh, platform, uh, where I also invite you to, to discover more details about the insights which are uh, at the baseline on, on this uh, report. So, uh, this having said, I will uh, I wish you to uh, to have an interesting event and uh, enjoy the two full days dedicated to the cybersecurity community. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christian. Thank you for reminding us of how much DevCamp has grown and has evolved and just how many things have gotten better uh, and how many changes we've kind of weathered all of us as a community. I think that's really important to remind ourselves. And so one of the other things that I wanted to mention before we kick off with the first presentation of the day is that you can drop questions for each presentation in the platform. So I will pick and choose as many of them as I can in Q&A sessions after each presentation. What's more, you can also like, Christian said, check out the expo area, get to meet the partners of the event, get to see what they have, you know, to share, interact with their team and then everything else that happens there. And also there are a few support options that you can use if you're in, um, you know, if you find some sort of a thing that you're trying to deal with, uh, you can send an email to support at cyberedu.ro if you have any issues with the Hacking Village competitions or check out the Discord channels. And if you need help with the My Connector platform, please uh, send us an email at content at devcam.ro.